Hello traders, FS Pipcolette here. Today is Friday, March 29th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So, on the Aussie dollar monthly, I still think this is a big WXY. I still think this move down we're currently seeing is going to make a higher low and eventually keep on going up to finish off this wave C of wave Y, probably eventually taking out these two highs and looking something like that. So let's take it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I still think this first push up right here is a 1. I still think this is likely to be an ABC of 2. I still think eventually it's going to keep on going up and eventually make a wave 3, a wave 4, and a wave 5, which I still think is a wave C of wave Y most likely. So let's take a look at it on the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I still think this right here looks like a downtrend, like a wave A. I still think this looks like one, two, three waves up wave B. I think we're most likely in a downtrend that's likely to go down to the 61 or the 78% Fibonacci retracement to finish off a wave C of wave 2 before we do continue the uptrend for that big old wave 3 that we've been waiting for. This uptrend should be a 1, should be an ABC of 2, and eventually go up for a wave 3. Taking it down to the 4 hour time frame. Definitely, we got a bank holiday today for pretty much everybody in the world so I think it's going to be a little bit on the slow side probably a little choppy today kind of almost looks like it could actually make a little bit of a push up but because it's a bank holiday I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't even do that all of the higher time frames are in a downtrend so I would primarily be looking for sorts anyways and I wouldn't be surprised if it just kept on drifting down from here so I would be definitely be careful trying to go long on sort of time frames Going down to the one hour, the reason why I say it looks like it should go up is because this looks impulsive. This looks like almost a perfect three-way pattern. If it wasn't for the fact that today was a big holiday, I would say that this would make a nice uptrend, which it definitely still could. But I would be a little cautious. Like I said, it's a big holiday for pretty much everybody. It might actually just continue to drift around. And then maybe at some point that, that near the beginning of next week, it'll just keep on trending down. The trend is down on all the higher time frames, and we definitely should be trading with the trend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel linked in the card up here above. And don't forget to check out my new website linked down here below. As always, thank you and happy trading.